It's a great day for a drive, especially in this 2023 Transit. It's a T-150. It is a crew, so that means it has seating for five, and the passenger door on the rear of the passenger side slides for easy entry, and you also have a double door in the back. This has a 3.5 liter V6 engine that's an EcoBoost, automatic transmission, and it is an all-wheel drive. It also has the reverse camera, and you've got the tow hook in the rear, but you've also got those nice big glass windows, so easy to see out the back. As well with the 360 camera you've got a good view forwards and backwards and many more features if you'd like to take this vehicle out on a test drive you can book it online at islandford.ca stay tuned we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out this is a 3.5 liter V6 engine here with an automatic transmission and it's an all-wheel drive let's have a look inside storage and speaker in the door as well as power locks and windows and the nice little step to get in. This cutout is where your gas cap is located and you have cup holders as well as your window controls another cup holder grab handle little step to get in and your driver's seat is manually adjusted. On the face of the steering wheel you have your hands-free dialing and your volume and your menus located there and let's start up the vehicle. You're going to see any important messages, the odometer reading, and your menu will come up as well. So there's trip one, my view, driver assist, navigation, your um, media, and your phone, settings, and then you're back around again. And these all have sub menus. Your screen is gonna come up here. We can touch on it for the different options, AM, FM, and Bluetooth. We have dual climate control or the, uh, sorry, we have the single climate control and there's the fan over there with your AC, front and rear defrost. And on the side, we have our navigation map. And so you have a little, a little um, banner on the side, but you also have the bigger one here. So when touched on navigation, you get your map and then you choose your destination. And then in our settings, we can go in there and choose again. You can change the look of the display screen, the clock, so forth, and just choose what you would like. And then we also have our features in there, your owner's manual, your drive modes. So as road conditions and weather conditions change, you can change your drive mode for more or less traction or control. So right now we're in, e in normal. And then if we touch on eco, it'll highlight and it'll change the icon. There's slippery. So if you get into the wet weather here coming up, tow haul and mud ruts as well. So if you're doing a little off-roading or you're on an uneven train, that would be where you want to use that as well. So that's kind of nice. And then you can put, when you put the vehicle in reverse, you are going to see the backup camera view. So here we are in space. Green, yellow, red is just showing us how close we are to other objects or vehicles. There's your center line. And that's giving us a nice view. You can put us back into park. And then down below is your volume. And there's where your drive modes are again. So you have them on the screen. You have them here. And then we have the camera. So this is giving us a front view without us being in gear just to show us what's ahead before we go anywhere. And there's your parking assist, hazard lights, and your 12 volt USB, couple of cup holders, automatic select shifter, armrests for both driver and passenger. And you've got your glove compartment there. And also more little bins to put drinks or whatever you want in there. Grab handle in the body. And then up top we have our lighting control controls and you have another light for up there and your um, seat belts and your grab handle in behind us and you're all set 16 inch wheels black door handle and that cutout is where your capless easy fuel gas filler is located and in the back you've got your handle that locks there you're seeing it's an eco boost all-wheel drive and you've also got a tow hook and backup sensors and then when you want to open it up just swing it open to the right the other one on the left. Got lots of room back here. This is considered a crew cab because it's got those three back seats, not full cargo, but you still have lots of room to put things. You've got LED lights up top. And then when you want to close the doors, just swing them closed, left and then right. And your backup camera is just where the high mount light is located. You can lock everything up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. The nice thing about these vans is the rear passenger door slides. So you don't have to have any clearance there. You just pull it open, grab a handle in the body, and you've also got this nice step. The other thing is this is a crew cab. So it has seating in the back here that for three, uh, which typically with a cargo, you just have the two seats up front, but you still have lots of room in behind. And the flooring goes 
just behind the seats here and then you've got the LED lighting up top and you've got your three-point seat belt so it's really comfortable you can bring people along you bring all their gear and you can head out and then just easily pull the handle and slide it back and you're ready to go sliding rear passenger door with privacy glass adjustable long arm side view mirrors with blind spot information system halogen headlights, fog lights, front camera, and many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we love to hear your comments.